Okay, for project time today, we're gonna make dinosaur puzzles. So parents and students, let's see, whoever's feeling more like drawing a dinosaur, you're gonna draw a dinosaur. Ooh, okay, I'm going to draw a long neck dinosaur. Here's his little tail, his little feet. He's like kicking one out. He's a fancy long neck. Okay. Could have probably made his neck a little longer. Should we make his neck a little longer, guys? I think so. Okay, there we go. There we go. Here, we'll just give him like a really big head. Yeah, and this can be his mouth. There we go. There we go. Oh, and he's looking over at us. He has like this cool little dinosaur nose. Okay, so we're gonna draw the dinosaur. And then you can have your student color him in and make him so beautiful. I'm gonna give mine some cool toes. Yeah, cool dinosaur toes. Oh yeah. Oh, that one he even has an extra toe on. And maybe here he'll have like some cool dinosaur skin. Yeah, he's got cool dinosaur skin. Ooh. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, and maybe there's like a little dinosaur mosquito on him. I'm a dinosaur mosquito. Yeah. And if you guys want, you can add some background stuff, like maybe a big tree back here. Kind of help you out with your puzzle. Okay, and then once you get that, you are going to have your student... Cut this puzzle out into squares. Let's see, can you guys see it? Not really. So what Miss Sarah did is I cut my dinosaur into three strips. And then I stacked all the strips in a pile on top of each other. And I straightened out the pile. And then I cut it into three more strips. You could also do just two strips and just two cuts each time. I'm gonna do three, mine's gonna be a little hard. So you guys can decide how hard you wanna make your puzzle. So now I have all of these puzzle pieces. And then I'm gonna lay them out. So the more you color this in, the better, because then you really know what you're working with. If you only use one color like Miss Sarah did, you might have a hard time putting your puzzle back together. Oh, but I know this is the head. That's definitely the head. And that I know is the tail because there's no toenails on that, so it's got to be a tail. And remember I did that fancy foot? So there's the fancy foot. Oh, and the tree. Remember I did that tree in the background? I said it might help us with our puzzle. And I found another foot because I know those are toenails. So I know that's got to be a foot. I'm still not sure about what this is. <gasps> Maybe that's my mosquito I drew. Yep, there's my mosquito. Oh, and that's the bottom of the tree, remember? Because we did that tree. So let's put that there. <gasps> Ooh, is it starting to come together? Let's see. Something doesn't quite look right yet. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what this could be. We're going to have to save that piece. Let's see, that maybe goes, what's this? Hmm, hmm, maybe we'll have to save that piece too. Let's see, we've got our fancy foot. Oh, look, that toenail connects to that toenail. Oh, 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 and here's, here's another toe. See how there's just like that tiny line of the leg right there? Ooh, there we go. Let's see, and then the tail. Oh, is it coming together, guys? And there's the head. I know that's a top corner. So this might just have just a little bit. Yep, I think that might be part of the neck. So maybe this is part of the body. <gasps> so maybe this, no. Hmm, hmm, I say. Where does this go? That's wrong. Let's see, maybe it goes like, Maybe like this. Here we go, there it is. And there's my dinosaur puzzle. 
I can't wait to see what you guys do. Everyone's doing great. I'm loving these dinosaurs. I can't wait to see you put them together. So for me today, we're gonna go over using colors to show our moods and how colors make us feel. So the two colors we did in our book today were red. I'm gonna draw my red circle and blue. I'm gonna draw my blue circle. Okay, you draw how blue makes you feel. Draw your eyes. Two eyes. How does blue make you feel? Happy or sad? Like happy? I'm going to do red. Ooh. I'm going to do red here are my eyes. And I'm going to do a heart for a mouth. Like a kiss. Mwah. Yay. And a little nose. Like and I'll draw little hearts, hearts on my cheeks because red makes me feel like love. Well, maybe I'll do those heart curly hairs again. Aw, that's how red makes me feel. I could maybe even draw like a whole red heart-shaped head. Aw, with heart eyes. That's how red makes me feel. How does red make you feel, Maddox? Um, Here's a red head for you. Um, no, it doesn't. No thanks. Makes you feel like no thanks. Maybe it could make you feel um, maybe mad. Ooh, mad like the dog he said. Rawr. Or he looks kind of worried. I think when maybe blue makes me feel a little, a little sad. Oh, wait, I'm going to show him how to make a real sad face. Can I show him? Oh, looks so sad. Aw, maybe a little tear. Aw. You see how different eyes can make a face look? Look, those are sad eyes. Those are, what? What's going on? Eyes, right? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, now he's opening his mouth. He's so sad. Can't wait to see what you guys do. The Eye Book by Dr. Seuss, writing as Theo Lesig. Who should we do illustrated? Illustrated by Joe Mathia. Illustrated means the person who drew the pictures. Which is pretty important for this book because it's the eye book. Let's see what we see. <gasps> My eyes see. His eyes see. I see him. And he sees me. Our eyes see blue. Our eyes see red. They see a bird. They see a bed. They see the sun. They see the moon. They see a fork, a knife, a spoon. They see a girl. They see a man. A boy, a horse, and an old tin can. They look down holes. They look up poles. Our eyes see trees. They look at clocks. Tick tock, tick tock. They look at bees. Bzzz. They look at socks. Ah, ah. <laughs> Our eyes see flies. Our eyes see ants. Sometimes they see pink underpants. <laughs> what? Let's make it in blush. Pink blush. <laughs> <laughs> Our eyes see rings. Our eyes see strings. They see many, many things. So many things. Like rain and pie. Mmm. Mmm. Pie. 
and dogs, woof, woof, and airplanes, zoom, in the sky. And so we say, hooray for eyes, hooray, hooray, hooray for eyes. The end. The end. Okay, for outside time today, we're going to be making some fossil imprints. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. You're going to go and find some cool leaves, some cool plants. Let's see, I'm going to grab a couple just right here next to where I'm sitting. Let's see, anything else? Any other cool plants just right here real close where I am? Hmm. See, that's kind of cool. I wonder if we'll be able to get that. So you guys see I have a couple plants. It works if you do it kind of right away, right when you pick them. So here's my one leaf. I'm going to flip it over to this really veiny side because it looks really pretty. I'm going to put it under my paper. And I'm going to take a green color. Maddox, can you hold my paper down? Can you hold the paper down for me? Can you put your hand right here, please? Yeah. And then you're gonna take your crown, make sure you have a crown. It helps if you have a thin piece of paper. And you're gonna just start running. Oops, I broke it. Oops, let's try again. Miss Sarah broke her pencil. I mean her crayon. Okay, so I've got my leaf under there. I'm gonna use my foot. <laughs> <laughs> and I can fill my leaf is right there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of press down. Come on. This is kind of hard with one hand. Let me try. I'm gonna get some assistance, guys. Alright, Miss Sarah's gonna hold it with her feet. Let's see how it goes. So you're gonna wanna kind of. Ah! I keep breaking <laughs> crowds. Hopefully you guys have a bit more success than I'm having. Okay, see, look, now you can kind of see. Look, what's that? Is that a leaf under there? Funny there. And it's really like paleontologists. I mean, they really have to, oh, see that leaf coming out? Paleontologists really have to work hard to find these fossils and to kind of put them together because all it's really doing is leaving an imprint in the minerals or in the dirt for scientists to uncover. Okay, so you can kind of see a leaf right there and a leaf right there. It might even work better if you guys like yeah, because I'm kind of destroying my leaves under here with the cement. So maybe if you guys use like a, a table to do this, I'm going to try another way to do it. Let's see. We'll be back. Show me what you guys okay, are so doing. I have this beautiful piece. Let's leave that right there. And we're going to cover it with the paper. Let's see. Just hang on here. Yeah, and then... Mm. Watch out, Maddox. Hold on, please stop. <laughs> hey, you can color on that once I'm done, okay? But I'm not done yet. Ooh, do you guys see the leaves starting to pop up? Oh, I see a couple leaves. There we go. Some of them are super beautiful. Look how beautiful those leaves turned out. So then we lift this up. And there's our plant. We've made our beautiful imprints. And you can get creative and see how many cool plants you can find. And how many imprints you can make. See how beautiful they come out. Oh, look at that. Look how pretty. Can't wait to see it, guys.